The Yakima Valley is one of the premier wine growing areas of the world. In 1973, 40 years ago, there were six wineries in the state. And uh, here we are, 700, 800 wineries. And there's so much discovery happening even now. And, and uh, I look back from where we started, you know, and, and it's just, we've just come such a long ways. Wine growing in the Yakima Valley really began uh, in the late 1800s, but in earnest just before Prohibition. Uh, the first wine grapes were planted on Snipes Mountain in 1917. Some of those vines still exist today. And if not for that start, we don't know what really would have happened with wine in this region. People have a hard time comprehending that, that a single region can, can do so many varietals so well. And uh, you know, Washington State really can. Valley is one of the best places to grow grapes. We have very warm days, which means that the grapes can ripen fully and get nice ripe fruit flavors, and then cool nights, which retain the acidity because the grapes go to sleep at night. The wines that come out of here are incredibly complex and, and very important to, to the wine industry. Look at our latitude. Here we are in the same latitude. We spun the globe around as, as its famous growing regions of the world, Burgundy and Bordeaux. It's 46 parallel. Compared to California, it means we get up to two extra hours of sunlight every day. The long days mean that the grapes can work all day long photosynthesizing, making sugars, building flavors. And so this is really optimal for quality grape growing. Yakima Valley is the first AVA in Washington State. It produces the most wine grapes and it produces the best wine grapes in the entire Pacific Northwest. <laughs>